Hello everyone, Sunyan here with a fun programming problem. Now this is problem 15 on projecteuler.net. And the only reason I know about it is that a couple hours ago I was having dinner with a friend of mine who teaches programming and he showed me this problem and I had an idea of how to solve it that I spent the last couple hours perfecting and I want to share the answer with you. now. The concept is this, uh, we have a grid, see this is a 2x2 two two grid, and we need to find all the possible solutions of how we can get from this corner to that corner if we only go right and down. Once you do that, um, you try to solve it for a 20x20 20 20 grid. Now it occurred to me that given the fact that we can only go right and down, it's essentially a binary problem, like you can have one for right, zero for down and it's a number of ways you can combine those ones and zeros so let me elaborate i think we have that so imagine one is going right so this would be right right down down so one one zero zero oh my god my writing is so funny okay then this would be one zero whoa oh sorry how do i erase no actually it's correct one zero one zero so right down, right down. So this would be right down, down, right. So it would be one, zero, zero, one. I'll actually finish these zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one. So these are the six combinations that can get us to go from here to here if we only move right and down. Now, let me show you my first Python solution, which made me really happy. Dun, 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 dun. Right here. So what I did is I used the iter tools library to find all the possible permutations for uh, a grid of a certain size. So right here, I took that grid size. So if the grid is two, um, I would two times create a list um, and the list is called path and I would add, you know, zero, one, zero, one to it. So actually here it prints path. So I guess this is perfect. I'm just gonna do that example of a two by two grid. And that's what it does. So I create, first of all, a list called path, which is got two zeros and two ones. And then I list all the possible permutations. There are six of them. And then I do the time. So when I solved this, I was really happy. And then I plugged in um, 20 there and I waited for 15 minutes and it was still processing. So, I mean, this works pretty well but only up to a point. Um, 70 found in 0.4 seconds. Let's see, for six. By the way, all these solutions are correct. Yeah, it took a little too long. I don't know what he's thinking about right now. So if you remove the print, um, <clears throat> I think you save a little bit of time. But I think this illustrates my point. Uh, this method using iter tools was a little bit too slow. So what did I do then? Well, there, I thought to myself that this problem of having binary bits uh, must have been had by somebody at some point. And it turns out that it is a very, very common permutation situation. And all you need to do is have a number, choose another number that is exactly half of it. So you kind of need to have even numbers to do it. So as you can do it um, for, um, you know, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, for all the even numbers. And since 20 is an even number, you can actually just apply this mathematical formula, which is, n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. In effect, what it boils down to is a number divided, uh, number factorial divided by half itself factorial squared. 
And that is very, very easy to code. So here is the whole function. In effect, like everything is solved right here. You could put a, a print statement outside of that and that would solve it. And I can't wait to show you how fast this is. So if I go F5, so I'll go problem 15. In a, wow, exponential to the negative five. That's basically in, in less than one hundred thousandth of a second. So if you can boil down a programming problem to a mathematical formula, you can see what you do to processing power. It becomes virtually instantaneous. Anyhow, that was fun. And I guess I'll be doing more of these. And I think I'll be hooked on Project Euler for a while. So. I'll catch you later. Have fun. Subscribe. Do the bell thing. That means a lot. Bye.